time for us now to turn to another tragic story, a vigil that's been held for the Oakland County Health Officer who died. Police say she was killed by her husband before he took his own life. She was remembered tonight by loved ones. Fox 2's Camilla Mary is live following that story. This is such a tragedy, and I can remember even talking to her personally. A lot of us knew her. Yeah, this is an absolute tragedy. Uh, Dr. Calandra Green, uh, many of us knew her, as you said, she did so much with COVID. Uh, take a look at some video. So she was, this was actually tonight, the video you're seeing right now is at this vigil outside her home that she shared with her husband. She was discovered on Thursday when she didn't show up for work at Oakland County uh, Health Department. And as it turns out, as you said, investigators determined that she'd been shot in the back and that she'd been shot by her husband who shared the home with her and he had shot himself, both of them deceased. Uh, so two days later, three days later, I should say on Mother's Day, uh, family and friends gathered to honor Calandra, who everyone says was the most amazing, kind-hearted, awesome person. And even if you didn't know her, I think it's very evident when you look at the photographs of her that this woman was someone who had a large heart and a large personality and who welcomed everybody into her life. And it was very evident listening to what everyone was saying today. And I want to play some uh, parts of the, the vigil for you. Uh, first, you're going to hear from her daughter, and then you're going to hear from her sister. Take a listen. These past four days have been so hard. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. You were everything to me. I love you so much. I am staying strong and staying brave for you because I know you would want that. Y'all don't even know how much this means to our family. Y'all don't know. I didn't know how my sister affected everybody. There were people crying in the beauty shop, people crying at the eyebrow shop. I didn't know that. I knew she was mine because she was my best friend too. There were also a lot of people crying at this vigil. Again, a large crowd gathered in front of her house, lighting candles and just saying goodbye. A lot of beautiful flowers strewn across the lawn, just paying their respects, honoring her on this Mother's Day. Reporting live in Pontiac, Camila Mary, Fox 2 News.